Okay, yesterday, on the treadmill, seven miles at race pace. Oh, God. It just hurts. Um, race pace is, okay, it just sucks. But you have to be able to maintain it for the distance. So basically, just chalk up however long you're racing, you're running, and it's it might as well just say be miserable for seven miles. You know, if you're going at like an easy pace, it's like, ah, oh, boy, oh yeah, I'm working, but you can, you know, carry on a conversation. Um, this is you could maybe say one or two words in between breaths. Sometimes four words. In this case, I shouted out four words, which is saying something for me. But I was working. Now, again, my race pace is not enough to beat Mike Ball. There's no way in hell. Um, But it's faster than what I thought I could go. I had a goal of like, I mean, in fact, for this marathon, this half marathon, I'll be happy with nine minutes a mile. Okay? But yesterday for the seven miles... I kept it below 830. I was like 828 for seven miles, and it was tough. I mean, my God, I was sucking ass that last half mile. It was a bitch. Now, when I run and I'm indoors, I've got a towel, I've got Kleenex, and I've got an excessive amount of snot. And um, I don't necessarily like... uh, using the uh, towel to blow my nose. But at this stage in the, cause I'm wiping my face with the towel. So basically I'm just rubbing snot on my face. But at this point with a half mile to go, I'm like running out of gas. And I'm like, I don't even get a shit. I don't care if I did do that. Fine. So I could very easily just grab the towel and blow into my nose. I don't care. It's that. I mean, the machine is completely coated in sweat. I got to wipe the whole thing down. You know, I got to sanitize it when I'm done. And that's going to happen. And that did happen. Then I got these uh, Kleenex to actually blow my nose. But they're they're completely wet. The, 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 the Kleenex are loaded with my own sweat from my face and snot. So it's just a ball of Kleenex. And I'm so incapacitated that I don't want to grab because I'm working the towel, it's too much effort to actually grab the towel and it's long, you know, and put it up to my face and blow. So what do I do? I put my hand over my face like this. And with my index finger closing my left nostril, I then blow my nose into my hand. I think I just did it. So I hold the left nostril and with my hand, I blow, covering my nose, I blow through my nose and all of the booger goes into my hand, which I then wipe on the towel. I know that sounds ridiculous. Why don't you just pick up the towel? Trust me. At this point, I've got, I, it's, it's difficult to do any, 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 movement more than I need. It's more work to grab the towel and hold it to my face than it is to do what I just did. Trust me. At this point, I don't care who's watching me. That is until someone calls me out on what I'm doing. Then I'm like, oh, God. (laughs) Because over my shoulder, I hear, wow. Wow. You're gross. With the Kroger Plus card, it's easy to get lower than low prices, which adds up to big savings for the win. You also earn fuel points on every purchase, which means you win big at the pump. The Kroger Plus card. All you do is win big, big savings. Sign up now at Kroger.com and start saving. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Savings may vary by state. Fuel restrictions apply. You can save an extra $10 when you spend 40 or more on a great selection of participating items. Just look for the signs and save at Kroger. Drew and Jonathan Scott here to tell you that American Family Insurance wants to protect your dreams. So whether you're at home singing in the shower, every note, or prefer singing your heart out in the car like Drew, cruising, you can save up to 23% when you bundle your home and auto insurance with American Family Insurance. Get a quote or find an agent at amfam.com. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. 
Visit MFAM.com to learn how discounts may apply to you. American Family Mutual Insurance Company, S.I. and its operating company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin. <laughs> like, oh, no. Andy from Team Knuckle Dragger has seen this happen and has busted me. Now, so I'm guessing no one else, well, I know no one else called me out on it. I'm guessing everyone else has seen me do it too, and they just aren't bold enough to say anything. Andy is. He's right. Yes, that is gross, and yes, it is gross. I don't have an excuse. I own it. In front of all those people on a treadmill, I blew my nose into my hand and wiped it on the towel. I, oh, I also wipe it on my shirt, too, while I'm running. And I don't care. The shirt's going to come off as soon as I get in the locker room. I'm not even going to tell you that I'm going to correct this behavior. And so he goes, oh, you're gross. And I, I, I look over my shoulder. I'm running as fast as I can. The time is running out. I got a, a three-tenths of a mile to go. I grab the towel and I go, I got a towel. And he goes, well, then use it. I just had to tell on myself over this. It's ridiculous. What a disgusting thing. I actually feel bad. Even describing it to you, I feel shame. Tyler says, oh my God, I shook your hand on Saturday. Well, I would have washed. I washed my hands, idiot. Brandis says, sometimes I really question why I torture myself by listening. Maureen says, Brandis, did you listen to the Patreon yesterday? If you didn't, don't. Don't. She's referring to uh, labiac. Uh, what is that procedure? Labiectomy, labiectomy. When, when women get their labias trimmed. Kenny says, at least you don't stop and take a dump on the treadmill like you're running outside. Aram says, Eric is so disgusting. Labiaplasty, that's what it is. No, Brandish, you have to listen to that. For the simple fact of the, the, the uh, math that I did with the uh, over one half ton of labia meat. Runner girl zero zero one who should know a thing or two about this says, not sure what's worse. You blowing your nose in your hand or sticking your hand in a toilet to unclog it. I would say that is worse. I don't think that blowing your nose in your hand when you're running is that different. First of all, I only did it that way. I should, at least I didn't do it like onto the next treadmill. And besides, you know, if you pick your nose, how is that different? Do you not pick your nose? Is it because it's in public? Is that the problem here? Is that what we're focusing on? I don't know. The only thing that would have made that worse is if you licked your hand clean after. All right. So a little uh, confession there. 